When the NBC hired, hired him and brought him to New York, and I went to New York for something and he was there. Um, it's kind of interesting. The networks developed a way to find new talent by sending some of their news people around the country and checking into hotels or motels, not telling the local broadcasters they were there, and turning on the television in the hotel room, looking at their news types, hoping to find a good one, and without getting the local station excited and upset until it had a chance to approach them properly. And that's how they found Chet Huntley. He was on uh, television, local television in Los Angeles doing news. He looked good, he had a great voice. <clears throat> and somebody at, somebody at NBC saw his local program, decided he was network material, hired him, brought him to New York. And the rest is, as they say, history. He's a cowboy, he grew up in Montana. His ambition in life was to own a ranch stocked with cattle, with 10,000 acres or whatever in a small piece of land in the <laughs> west. And he wanted to sit on the front porch of his little cabin and put his feet up in the cowboy boots on a rail and look out at his cattle. And that's what he wanted and uh, that's what he was on his way to getting. Mm -hmm. He uh, <clears throat> was very nice, in some ways quite naive. For example, my wife and I were in New York for, for a weekend and we stopped by the Huntley's. They had a house on the east side somewhere uh, for a little visit. And while we were there chatting, the phone rang. And Huntley answered it, which is a mistake number one. In New York City, you're a celebrity, you don't answer the phone. Somebody else answered the phone. And on the phone was somebody who said, Mr. Huntley, this is Judge Smithers. I'm here for Little Rock, Arkansas, and my wife Tilly and I going to wonder if you'd have dinner with us. Oh my God. And Huntley said yes. <laughs> he went. <laughs> and he left. I said, Chet, you're going to run out of conversation before you finish a shrimp cocktail. <laughs> and he left. <clears throat> and he later said, yes, we ran out of conversation before we finished a shrimp cocktail. He was naive enough to do that in New York City. Lord knows what that could get you into. Well, he was in New York having been hired from Los Angeles, brought to New York. I was still in Washington. I was always in Washington. And um, he was um, filling in for Swayze once in a while. I was filling in for Swayze once in a while. And it, I guess it began at one of the conventions. Um, we got what I, I recall is the highest rating in the history of television up to including today.